Imagine Tolkien, my dear friends, a man who hated the modern world, who abhorred the machines, reading something like this, the idyllic entertainment to charge for elvish spoken language in the Lord of the Rings Gollum claims voice actors had to be trained by lore experts. Yeah. Wes Halmin Freyond and welcome to yet another video. My oh my, one comes back from work and what does he see? Well, a lot of things, my dear friends, but uh, some of them are the proofs, once again, that the world hasn't really changed and people haven't really changed. We do live in uh, a different era, different day and age, of course. We could call it civilized, but uh, I've got something to tell you. I am really of the sentiment of what uh, Conan the Barbarian said. If this is what you call civilization, the more I uh, like of what you call uh, barbarism or savagery. I am paraphrasing, of course, uh, the famous words by Robert E. Howard. Uh, but the, the the first thing on the agenda here that I needed to make a video about is uh, this. So apparently, my dear friends, the uh, upcoming Gollum video game is going to include uh, Sindarin, is going to include Elvish, and uh, you will have to pay for it extra <laughs> because apparently the voice actors had to be trained by lore experts. Now, there are a couple of things. First, I am so happy and fortunate that I couldn't care less about this game. I'm absolutely not going to get it. I'm not going to play it. I know that some people in the comments down below will be uh, asking me to review it, but no, I'm I'm just I'm just not going to do that. And uh, secondly, <laughs> experts. Now, where have I heard that before? experts. Now, la lately, it seems to me, for the last couple of months or a half a year or whatever it was, uh, maybe too many experts have popped up from the ground. <laughs> now, if you've been following my channel for quite some time, you know that um, I am a uh, a man who has devoted uh, a, a huge part of my life to Tolkien and uh, other fantasy greats of the 20th century, as well as old English literature and language. Uh, but I, I am not calling myself an expert. I, I, I wouldn't even dare calling myself an expert. Now, I do n know that there are some experts in, in the world, but uh, you have to be a personality of the level of Tom Shippey or Brian Sibley or... A, mm, Christopher Tolkien himself, uh, for, for really being able to call yourself a Tolkien expert. Otherwise, nah, I, I am, I am not, I am not taking the bait, my dear friends. So, um, what is more interesting? Well, not what is equally interesting is uh, the outrage that it, that it has sparked on the internet. Of course, people are absolutely outrageous that they will have to pay more for uh, some extra DLC or whatever it is. And all this, all this combined, it just makes me think of... Yeah, it was, and I, are any, any of you really thinking about the main thing, the main issue, the main problem here? We are, again, talking about milking Tolkien and transforming him into something extremely uh, materialistic, just, just, just money-making machine. And Tolkien abhorred that. Tolkien absolutely hated the modern world. What do you think he would say about video games? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what the hell do you think would Tolkien would say about his name, his stories being transformed into video games to make millions of dollars and uh, his elvish language? And who knows if this is going to be like the Sindarin to that level that Tolkien um, imagined it and uh, created it. And of course, none of his languages are 100% absolutely complete. Now, he couldn't have completed uh, any of his languages to that level in in one lifetime. Now, I, I suppose he could have, but he was a perfectionist. So... <laughs> I know it's like it's like putting uh, a Rondier and Galadriel on Kit Kat bars. 
No, this is something completely different to release a work of art, a collectible uh, inspired by Tolkien's works or from Peter Jackson's adaptation. Because I call this what Tolkien uh, called the other minds and hands, really, you know, releasing something that uh, is beautiful to behold, that represents the beauty of uh, Arda and uh, you know, the world that Tolkien created. And it is something completely different to just think of more stories and trying to expand up upon Tolkien's world just for the sake of milking it more and more. But uh, let us dive into the very short article by bounding into comics and what they say about that. Now, most of the article is composed of uh, people... Uh, reacting and their tweets. I, I'm not going to read all of them. Uh, most of them are grammatically incorrect, stupid remarks. So if you want to read all of them, you can read it them by yourselves. I will put a link in the description down below. But nevertheless, uh, the article reads, Daedalic Entertainment to charge for elvish spoken language in the Lord of the Rings Gollum claims voice actors had to be trained by lore experts. Daedalic Entertainment states elvish voice acting the Lord of the Rings Gollum is DLC, claiming they had to train voice actors to speak it. Now, before I start, there, there will be, but I will not put it here in the video, uh, there is a remark of one of the fans being outraged on the internet, one of their tweets, saying that uh, Peter Jackson didn't uh, charge us extra for all the Elvish spoken in the Lord of the Rings films. And, and I say, oh, well, that's a fair point, that's a fair point. Uh, but it continues, developer and co-publisher Daedalic Entertainment previously detailed the content of the game's Precious Edition. Along with the game, it includes the art exhibition app featuring over 100 original sketches and development secrets, a lore compendium and 17-track orchestral soundtrack. The special edition also includes Sindarin voice acting, namely the language of the elves. Uh, yeah, but I mean, wouldn't it be... The, I, I, all right, all right. I, the, syntax and uh, being coherent and cohesive is something maybe too much demanding for bonding into comics sometimes. I do appreciate you bonding into comics, but I always repeat, please do get editors. Pre-order and get the emotes pack DLC, which includes six of Gomes' iconic gestures and sayings. <laughs> this is so stupid. I mean, ah, uh, poor Tolkien. For the standard edition, it was confined. Some elements could uh, each be purchasable, purchasable. A separate DLC. <laughs> oh, this is milk into the extreme. While special editions have exclusive, DLC is nothing new. Alternate voices lines may be a bit confusing to some. Social media users were quick to weigh in on the news with some expressing delight and others wondering why Sindarin wasn't included by default. I will uh, read out this one because the first one that Binding into, into Comics uh, uh, well put there is just hilarious. Greedy game, sell as a DLC, the Elfic language is just the worst of the industry. Do you see why I don't want to read all of them? Now, I would have to laugh at each and every single tweet because, I mean, give people keyboards and they absolutely lose any sense of uh, grammar and spelling. <laughs> but... um the uh, article continues then. Uh, Daedalic Entertainment would later issue a statement to Eurogamer justifying the voiceover being DLC. Um, the elves in the ge in the base game will speak in their tag, Sindarin, from time to time. On top of that, the Sindarin VO expansion adds additional Sindarin lines to some of the characters in the background. While traversing through Mirkwood and other parts of Middle-earth, Gollum will be able to listen to various dialogues between elves. These dialogues add to the atmosphere and world-building. Uh, with a Sindarin VO, these dialogues will, will be held in Sindarin, they added. The statement elaborates. Uh, Daedalic went the extra mile here and hired professional voice actors who were trained in Sindarin by our lore experts. <laughs> uh, it is a DLC for the real Tolkien devotees who want to immerse themselves even more into the world of Middle-earth. Now I have to give them that. This is a good selling strategy. Now, this, 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 I, I you know, I, I can't say anything negative about their uh, ability to adv to advertise this. It is a DLC for the real Tolkien devotees. If you are a real Tolkien fan, you will get this DLC. <laughs> yeah, that's actually quite clever. But, uh, nah, I'm not going to get it. Uh, so what do you think about this, this circus of a game and uh, the circus 
of a world, actually. Let me know in the comments down below. They'll be all. Thank you uh, very much for watching. And Namadie.